amazing. I can't believe we got Warren Sapp. I mean, Bert, I can't believe uh, they decided to do it either. That's, yeah, I know. I can't believe it. Bert Kreischer, he's uh, big. He's had a movie come out. Movie. Oh, hey, everybody! Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, cheers. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Oh, Lord. Oh, okay. Missing Greg. Yeah. Greg celebrating the graduation of his son. Uh, That's right. Congratulations, Isaac. Congrats. Right? It's Isaac, right? Yeah. It's a big well, one. Yeah, Isaac or Andrew. They only has two. Uh, it's Isaac. But congratulations for sure. Welcome to Fun Day Friday, guys. We are live Ooh. here at the Worldwide Headquarters <laughs> mm, for Rec Tech. That's right, out here on the Rec Tech deck. And it's all about burgers today. Was, boss Man Ben threw me cheese. I saw that. We don't have Boss Man Ben on enough. No, he we don't. Start, he's busy. No, he doesn't have a mic. No, he doesn't have a mic. And he's super busy. He's a busy guy. He's well, I mean, you know, products and yeah. development. Stuff and, going on. You know, yeah. Integration. Integration. Uh, business. That's right. Ethics. Business ethics. Beautification. What did you say? I didn't hear it. Synergy. 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 All right, enough blabbering. We're right. doing burgers today. <laughs> That's right. You can find these burgers, these recipes available at rectech.com. Make sure you go there, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've got Father's Day coming up. It's a beautiful summer day. Yes. yes. Why not yes. do burgers? Let's go. Um, but again, you're going to be doing the Juicy Lucy's. That's right. I'm going to be doing the Reverse Sears. That's right. So just a little backstory about my burger. My burger's actually been smoking. Yes. On the RT-1250 for about an hour at 225 degrees, okay? Sure. It's got some delicious smoke on it already, but yeah. it is not internally done. Yeah. Okay, we're smoking it first, and then we're gonna sear it off after you get done searing your burgers. Right, so, and the thing with my burgers is, we're taking the, just the regular burger, we're gonna add a couple things to it, we're gonna stuff it with some cheese, we're gonna put it on the bullseye, hit it with that high heat, get it to that perfect yep. medium internal temp, pull it off and eat it, it's gonna be delicious. I'm telling you, your dad's gonna love these burgers, or your father figure would absolutely right. love these That's burgers. Right. I wanna remind everybody, we've got some amazing Father's Day uh, gift guide. That's right. Uh, at rectech.com, so go check that out. That's right. Um, well, before we go any further, let's get them to smash that share oh, button. Yeah, please. We'll give you three seconds to do it. Three, two, one, smash it! Smash it for your father figure in your life. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you'll be, you and Greg will be celebrating Father's Day we sure will next Friday. Yeah. I'll be out of the office. That's right, celebrating Father's Day. Yeah, celebrating yourself. Father's Day on vacation. Yeah. Um, but uh, make sure you guys tune in next week for Chef John and Chef Greg. Um, did you say you were going? Oh, you're going to Hilton Head. Hilton Head, South Carolina. So you guys see Jody next weekend in Hilton Head. Please grab him, give him a pinch, stop him. Oh. He loves it. Hugs. Yeah. Shout out to any um, deep sea fishermen out there that want to hook us up. <laughs> That's right. Hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Facebook. We're looking to catch some fish out there. Yeah. I've already got uh, one excursion booked, mm. but I'd love to do another one. So y'all hit me up. Are you and the boys going? You yeah, me and I've got to take Becky too. Oh, Becky's going to go? Yeah, well, all four of us. I didn't know she did uh, deep sea fishing. Well, I'm not going to handle my two heathens <laughs> by myself <laughs> on open water in a boat. It's somebody else's boat. Right, right. If it was my boat, that'd be fine. Right. You know what I'm saying? I could like tether them to Make sure they, to no, else. not somebody else's boat. I love it. All right, let's get started, buddy. Get on it, buddy. You want me to do it? You want me to yeah, start yeah, you're first? started. You got All a bunch right. of stuff to do. So, guys, you, like Jody well, said, you could find this recipe uh, at rectech.com. Just go right. to the recipe section, head on over to the beef section, and you'll see this burger in there. So, what we have here is about three pounds of ground beef, 80-20. Now, I got a, uh, a message yeah. from somebody the other day that said they were using, it was like 90-10 ground beef Whoa. and they said their burger was really really dry so a little chef tip wow you know go ahead and try and get a little bit more fat in there right so you can even go 70 30 is fine if you want those really like super juicy burgers but Shoot, yeah. the lower the fat content the drier it's going to be so if you like really well done burgers definitely hit that 90 10. shout out to everybody in the comment section of youtube as well as facebook yeah, guys, let us where, let us know where you're watching from. That's right. Let us know what you're getting your dad. Yeah, okay. we want to know. All right, so we got in here is a little bit of shredded onion. Then we're going to hit it with a little bit of steak sauce. I'm going to do a little bit of Worcestershire and a little bit of that A1. Steak sauce. Steak sauce. How, how do you like to shred your onions, Chef John? On a cheese grater. That's the oh. best way. Yeah, don't mess up your food processor trying to shred your onion. Go ahead, get your cheese grater and just shred it on the cheese grater. Get the fattest setting on your cheese grater and grate it up. Fattest setting. Yeah, I love that. I love it. All right, so <laughs> at this point, you guys could add some eggs to this. Now, I am not a fan of adding eggs to ground beef that are going to be burgers. I feel like when you add egg to ground beef, it turns it kind of into a meatloaf. So the eggs really just burgers. Gonna, yeah, the eggs really just going to help this stick together, right? So we're going to get this all mixed in really, really well. Tons Jenny, of burger tips today, guys. Will you hit me with some of that heifer dust, please, Man, sir? I sure would love to. Man, that Ben's heifer dust, it's salt, pepper, yeah. garlic, onion powder, paprika. It's all that good stuff that you want flavoring your beef. That's it. 
So we're going to go ahead and mix this oh, all. Oh, speaking in. of that, this, uh, our rub and sauce bundle is actually on the Good Morning America's yeah. uh, last minute Father's Day gift guide. I love How it. How cool is that? I love it. Cheese and crackers. I've never thought a million years we'd ever be on Good Morning America. That's a good song. We were there. That's a good Did song. they ever offer me that chance? <laughs> I'm going to show up so early and start cooking so early in New York City. <laughs> I love oh my it, gosh. Buddy. You're so funny. Shout out to everybody in the comment section. We see y'all. We love you. Yeah. All right. So now I'm just forming that burger, right? So this is really about a five to six ounce patty. And I just know that because I've been doing this a really long time. But if you <laughs> wanted to, Jody has a great tip. If you wanted to actually measure it out and make sure that it's right, you guys could grab one of these souffle containers. Yeah, go to your local restaurant. Yeah, you Ask can, them for one yeah, or they'll two. Give, they'll, they'll give them to you. They'll give it to you for sure. Yeah. And then you just pack it in there, right? Adamus Ling. Now you can see Lignus. that mine's a little bigger, so that's about six ounces. Yeah. That's perfect, right? But if you wanted to, that's how you could get a perfect four ounce patty, just like that. All right. So Remember, we're going to be giving something away at the always, end of the show, and we're going to be uh, uh, spinning that wheel of Rectech. We've actually added, we're going to actually add live yep. a new prize. Woo, are we? We're going to, this get, is the first time did ever. Did you get it approved already? Nah, I'm just going to do it, right? I love it. Right? You, you Ask for man. forgetting. Yeah, you wild man. But we are, we are going to uh, erase something of small value. And add something to large. And we're going to add something of large value. I like how so you, you guys work. stay tuned. I like how you work. All right. Now we're going to get our favorite cheese, guys. We're just using some white cheddar here, but you could use smoked gouda. You could use Swiss. You could use mozzarella. Whatever you like. We're just going to break it in half. Right? And then we're going to come like this, form this back around. And as you start to form it, you can start pulling it together. Are you getting that shirt? Are you getting that loveliness that A lot of is? folks in the comment section. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to call out a few folks, Chef John. Do it. We got Jamie, uh, Captain Kevin Fuller's hey, out there. Hey, Captain. Roger Maris, Tommy Boatwright, Philip Barnett, Tammy Kimbra, Treg Owings. What's up, Treg? What up, Treg? Uh, Adamus Lignus, a, I love that a, guy. a, a uh, rec tech <laughs> that's winner. Right. Oh, that's right. Shout out, everybody. We love you all for watching. All Good right. burger episode. So that was super, super easy, guys. So I'm going to do another one for you. So we want about a six ounce patty. Right? A little bigger than that four ounce cup. We're going to make a nice little thick hockey puck. Just think of it as a hockey puck. Now, what I'm doing is I'm putting it on that hand right there. And then with this hand, I'm cupping it around. And I'm just turning it and pushing it down with my thumb. That's all I'm doing, right? And you get this nice little hockey puck. A little right? pot. A little pot. We'll make a little pot. And then we're going to put a little bit of an indention in the middle. Right? Super easy. We're going to take some of our favorite cheese. We're going to fold it over. Just like that. And then can you just, overmix your burger, Chef John? Uh, yeah, you can, but it's really hard, guys. And if you're doing it with your hands, you're never going to overmix it. But if you're using like a food processor or a KitchenAid mixer to mix your burgers, first I'm going to ask what's going on in your household. And secondly, yes, you're going to you can overmix it. And actually, what you're doing is you're creating so much friction that the burger's starting to cook itself. That's right. The the fat's breaking down. That's right. And it's starting to render down. That's and it. That's actually what it is. And you can't, you know, me, in my personal opinion, Chef John. Yes, sir. I think if you like my wife, you know, she likes to manhandle things. <laughs> okay. You know, so if I have something that's about to barely, that is about to break, yeah. she's going to go ahead and break. Does she do it? Oh, man. But she definitely could overwork those because she wants everything mixed oh, in wee. so perfectly. But, again, it's the friction that, and the heating yes. that I, it's from your hands. the overworking. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Good job on that. Good tip. All right. There's your All, Oh, there are 150 folks out there. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. All right. So I have a rack over here already, guys, with a couple burgers already on it. Oh, that's a great right. show, John. So what, did you, what, did you, what are we seasoning these with ben, today? Ben's heifer dust. The okay. often imitated, never duplicated. Ben's heifer dust, guys. Now, do you have a preferred pellet for smoking or cooking hamburgers? Okay, so for burgers specifically, or any time that I'm trying to bring that grill up to a really high temperature, I like to use that ultimate blend pellet. Okay. It's a perfect blend of red oak, white oak, and hickory, which you really need those hard woods to reach those really high temperatures. Man, I was searching for another pellet, but I knew you were going to say ultimate blend. <laughs> <laughs> I love that ultimate blend. It does such a great job. All right, a little heifer dust on the outside, guys, because that never hurt anything. They're going to put these on the rack. Now, if you're looking for a lot of smoke, you know, get that mesquite. Yeah. That's really definitely. That's a, that's a really good uh, smoke imparter. And that's if you're right. looking for a sweeter, less smoke, Talk to you know, you can choose those fruit woods as well, everybody. All right, 500 degrees, ah. ultimate blend. You got the sear kit on there, raised sure. side up. That's what we like. We're just going to place these patties straight down. Ooh, you can hear that sizzle. Look at that. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Look at that deliciousness. Shout out to your grilled greats. North Carolina in the house, Texas, Georgia, it. Florida, Idaho. 
North Carolina, Arizona, Jody, Tennessee. I heard that uh, Florida soccer team just got, um, is it Messi that went to the uh, uh, Florida soccer team? Florida? Yeah. What did they pay him like a billion dollars? I don't know, but I know ticket prices went from $60 to a game to 500 so, Are you serious? Lionel yeah. Messi came, and is coming to play soccer million. in the United States? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They're going to first. They're definitely paying him a billion. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Isn't it awesome? That's man? a that's enormous sports news. You guys, you heard that first. Heard first. Lionel Messi, uh, international soccer superstar, superstar, is now going to come and play soccer. Mm -hmm. AKA football elsewhere. That's right. In America. That's Just, uh, like going and playing football in yeah. the in Europe. Yeah, Daniel, what was the name of the team? Nah, he don't know. Hey, they don't Miami like us. Miami FC. FC. Miami FC. Congratulations. All right, we're going to go ahead and announce that winner before I put my burgers on. All right, really let's quick. do it. So we, uh, all you had to do, smash the share button. We love it. Like the video. Please. Uh, and then ask a question in the video. That's, that's all the, you that's have to do. Um, this person asked, what is the best way to clean your grill grates? What a great question while we're using our grill grates. Yes, that is a great question. Um, so for me, you never want to put them in the dishwasher. Never, never. in a million years. Mm -hmm. Put them in the dishwasher. Never use any harsh chemicals on them. Mm -hmm. For me, the way I like to clean them, if let's say our, my grate side is dirty, what I'll do is, is I'll jack my bullseye up to 600 or full. Mm -hmm. yep and I'll cook it with the grate side down. That way all the heat is bombarding that grate side. It kind of cooks all of that stuff, well, burns all of that stuff up. I'll flip it back over and then I'll just hit it uh, with like a ball of aluminum foil yeah. or my grate brush. What yeah, about you, Chef? Yeah, most of that stuff's gonna fall off once you get it burned. Uh, uh, the best way for me to clean my grill grates, I'm doing the exact same thing that Jody's doing pretty much. I like to go ahead and get that Rectech brush. I'll hit them one time really well when they're hot to knock all that stuff off, and then I'll flip them over if they're real bad, like Jenny said, burn right. any existing stuff off, and you're good to go. Super easy. Those things pretty much take care of themselves. But you guys saw how jo Chef Jod pattied up his burgers. That's essentially how I pattied mine up. Now, uh, like like you said, I like a good six ounce patty. Yeah. So, you know, I took that four ounce and I put a little bit more in there. That's right. Um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I like to just smush mine down on my disposable cutting board. That disposable cutting board has a nonstick surface. And my hand, you know, really helps me get that burger even. So okay. I don't have a, you know, I don't have a, a skinny side and a fat side. And I just peel it up just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I love it. That's literally how I do my burger at the house. I don't put my finger in the middle of it. Mm -mm. I don't use an ice cube. No. You know, the Rectech does a really good job of even cooking all the way around. But again, it's, it's all about having your burger even. You don't want to have the edges super thin mm -mm. and then the inside super thick because it's going to cook uneven. That's okay? right. And again, so I'm using the Vince Heifer dust, but I'm also going to add that Chef Greg's four letter rub in his absence. Mm. Just a little bit of oomph. It's got a little bit of MSG in it. And I love MSG with my hamburgers, y'all. Jody, uh, Joel uh, wants to know, where can I get the heifer dust spice? Oh, the heifer dust is available at rectech.com. And it's also part uh, of that uh, last minute Father's Day gift guide from Good Morning America, That's right. our uh, rub and sauce bundle. That's right. Okay. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Mm-hmm, buddy. Beautiful little patty. Come on now. Um, so what I like to do, come on over here, Sherpa, is I like to place them on my Rectech mesh cooking mat. There you go. Okay. That allows me to cook these burgers without them touching my grate and getting them dirty or ugly looking. Okay. We get to an internal temperature. Let's check these bad boys. I'm going to show you, Sherpa, so you can see the number, everybody. Ooh, 100, about 120, 125 degrees. About. Okay. We're just about there, 130. So I, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my bullseye, I'm gonna lift the lid, I'm gonna lose some of Chef John's heat, that's okay though. And I'm gonna place these smoked burgers over here on our sear kit. That's what I'm talking about. And again, we're burning at 500 degrees with the ultimate blend pellet, getting some great caramelization, some really hot heat. I'm gonna close that lid and let these burgers cook. Easy peasy. Don't oh. overthink it. Again, that mesh mat, man, it's great for uh, shrimp, it's great yeah. for burgers, um, it's great for bacon. We actually cooked the bacon yeah, on a super secret thing. Super secret. Now, Jody, what is your favorite non-traditional cheese for burgers? Ooh, Gouda. Gouda. It's going to be Gouda or Munster. Ooh, I'm a huge fan. Munster. Uh, when I'm doing my Juicy Lucy's, I will Come actually mix the Gouda and the Munster together. Yeah, that's a really, that's good. I want to change uh, my What about you, big guy? What's your favorite? What's your favorite cheese? Um, uh, non traditional cheese. I was uh, going to say a blue cheese. I really, I really like a good blue cheese on a burger. Uh, and I'm also, <laughs> don't tell anybody this, guys, 
but I'm Gross. also a partial to Havarti cheese on my burger. Now, we forgot to announce the winner. We yeah. talked about the uh, the question, but forgot to announce the winner I like an it. idiot. I love uh, it. But great, great question. So the winner of last week's, we spun the wheel and it landed on a you pick season. That's it. That might be the one we take off. I think so. This, that's the smallest value, I think. Or the sunglasses. Or the sunglasses. Yeah. Uh, so the winner of our you pick seasoning last week Boom. is Elijah Boom. Allen what? Kaiser. Congratulations. Hey, congratulations. Elijah Allen Kaiser. Make sure you DM the Rectech Facebook page and we'll get that headed out there to you. That's right. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to spin the wheel of Rectech and we're actually going to add a brand new prize to it today. We've never done that before. Get on in there, Sherpa. Go look at those burgers. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start to flip mine. It's been probably about five minutes. Oh, you can see that nice char on there. That's what we're talking about. Again, if you need to let them go a little bit longer, yeah, let, let them go, go a little, little bit longer. longer. Yeah. Not a big deal. Like this one, I think it'd be, no, this is perfect right there. This I wouldn't perfect. recommend cooking it full yes, or definitely. riot mode. Definitely. Because uh, you can get up into temperatures of six, seven, a thousand degrees with this grill. Yeah. Um, so I would definitely not recommend that. 500, 550 degrees yeah. is probably perfect for your burgers. Now you don't have to use a sear kit, ladies and gentlemen. No. Nope. I love cooking hamburgers on my Bullseye Deluxe yeah. with no sear kit. Um, but uh, that sear kit definitely helps out. Uh, it helps get the grill a little bit hotter yeah, uh, and uh, a little bit more even because of that. Evenly dispersed. Yes, evenly because of that deflector shield. Shoot you. Now, I do like being able to go to high temperatures when I'm leaving that lid open, Jody. If I'm yes. not going to walk away from my right. from my Bullseye X, I definitely like, if I'm going to be right there, I'll turn it up 800 degrees, lift that lid, and that way you can work and you're not losing a lot of heat because that, that grill is just kicking it out, baby. It's just Good question. What side uh, do you like to make with your hamburger, Chef John? Always race side for me, Jody. No, no, no. Oh, uh, no, no, no. sides. Sides. Uh, sides. Uh, sides. Uh, Is that like beans or potato chips? Salad, potato salad always and baked beans. So potato salad and baked beans always for All, your hamburgers. Always for the hamburgers. Okay. I'm a, I always have to have coleslaw. Love the slaw. Um, and I'm, I'm also probably like a baked beans um, or like a lighter salad. You know, kind of guy. See, coleslaw for me is a hot dog thing. Always with the hot dogs. Well, I want to put coleslaw on my hamburger too. Oh, really? I've never tried it on a hamburger. Yeah, I have it's to delicious. Do that. I have to Absolutely. Do that. You guys, do that. Thank you for uh, all the questions. Yes. Thank you for letting us know where you're watching from, ladies and gentlemen. Again, we've got some Father's Day gift guides yeah. uh, available at Rectech.com. Go check those out. Some amazing suggestions mm -hmm. that you can get your dad. That's right. Because uh, Father's Day is coming up. That's right. Um, but we've also got a lot of folks, again, still in the comment section. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so We're much. We're going to need you guys to smash the share button. We'll give you three seconds to do it. Just count them down, John. Three, two, one, smash it. it! About to pull these burgers off. Yeah, smash it for that father figure in your life, guys. He's gonna want to see how to make these delicious Shoot burgers. All right, I'm gonna pull and flip mine as well. We got some delicious looking sear marks on there. Yes, sir. Probably at about 145, 150 degrees on these burgers. They're about ready to pull off. Shoot you, I'm gonna go ahead and get some Pulled some Gouda out of the Ooh, fridge. Ooh, yeah, to you top did. Top mine off with. Yeah, you Again, did. Again, John's are a little bit bigger, so his are just going to take just always. a little bit longer. Burgers are always going to be a little bigger. Oh, get out of here, Chef John. Taylor McKnight, you missed it. We did talk about our favorite cheeses for burgers. Yep. I, we said that I like Havarti. I like Gouda and Havarti. Uh, Doug Ivy's out there. Doug says hey, Doug. Uh, Carolina style chili and slaw is what he likes. <laughs> for his hot dog? Yeah. <laughs> or his hamburger? His hamburger. Hell yeah. But thank all you guys out there. We really appreciate you. We love you. Again, we're going to be giving something away at the That's end of the show. That's right. Don't forget. And guys, if you ever have any questions, comments, concerns, you want to talk to a real live person, all you got to do is reach out to us, 706-922-0890. We have a bank of people Shoot. standing by to answer your questions. Great Friday. Um, you got anything planned for this weekend? I'm taking the boat out. Shannon and I are taking the boat out. We are going to have a fabulous time this weekend, you know, just laying in the sun. It's supposed to be great here today and tomorrow. So Yeah, Saturday is supposed to be the, the rainy day, I guess. Sunday. Or Sunday is supposed to be the yep. rainy day, I guess. Yep. yep. So. yep. so we're going to get out. What about you, big guy? Uh, doing? We're going to go to the Braves game tomorrow. Okay. Uh, go Braves. Go Braves. Let's go. Uh, they're on a tear right now. We've got some 
Got some healthy folks. Yeah, so, uh, gosh, I wish I could remember Acuna. Ronald Acuna Jr., yeah. Right, so he's having a season this year, right? He is having a hell of a season. Okay, Absolutely. all right. Absolutely. I saw that the other day. I was trying to watch because I like to have some information yeah. when we talk about yeah, baseball. Yeah, he's, he's pretty much leading all of baseball and everything except for average. Okay. You know? And uh, I think there's a guy out there with over a 400 average right now in wow. baseball, which is incredible. That's that's high. Yeah, because uh, Tony Gwynn, the greatest hitter in baseball, had a 330, 333 average. Oh. So that's real high. Then. Right. You know, right. And the, God bless him. Hitting a baseball is the hardest thing to do in sports, John. Is it? Well, is it hard you to hit can, a golf ball? Listen to me. Okay. You can hit. If you get three out of ten hits, mm -hmm. that's considered doing well in baseball. Okay? Oh. If you make three out of ten shots in basketball, that's terrible. That ain't good. Yeah, you ain't doing good. If you're hitting that's three out of ten field goals in football, yeah. that ain't good. No, that's the Falcons. That's right. Hey, hey. No, 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 no. Now we got Coo. No, my, we got my homeboy from Georgia Southern. Now he's been hitting them field goals. Hitting them? Shout out. Shout out. Hail Southern. Um, but you were right, Jerry. When you break it down like that, it's hard thing to do, baby. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be pretty tough. Yeah. I've never played you know, baseball on that level, so I don't know. But I take your word for it. I know you are a champion. Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. I'm a champion. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Baseball champion. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull my burgers off. Now, if you're looking for a well burger, you're looking for 165 degrees. If that's you're good. looking for medium well, you're looking for 150-ish degrees. Um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You don't need mine on a little bit longer. Yeah, Jenny's a little smaller than mine. You know, I'm a little I'm a toast, guy. toast our buns. Yeah, please. Guys, are y'all a toasted bun or non-toasted bun? Let us know in the comments section. I know some people don't like toasted buns because they say that it's just too hard. It makes the bread feel stale. That's that. I was about to say a bad word, but that is ridiculous. <laughs> um, you got to heat that bun up. You got to activate it. You know that that baker. You know whoever made it. You know. I agree. You know really went through the work to to yeah. to, to make that son of a gun. But some people like it. They say that it was softer. It. That it soaks up all the beef juice when it's not toasted. So, so just tell I don't us, like how, what a do you cold guys think? bun with a hot hamburger. I heard that. You know I, I, and I'm with you. I take my bun uh, toasted. All right, while these things go, let me go ahead. Where's that marker at, Sherpa? Oh, we're going to erase this thing and go ahead yeah, and mark it. Yeah, we're going to erase it. it. So Let's we had get a marker. It. Uh, I think it's right over here. One second, big guy. Right, I'm going to erase. Come on over, Sherpa, and look. I want the folks to see. I'm going to erase the U pick. Or at least I'm going to try. You have it in your apron. Oh, maybe. All right, we'll see. Yeah, well, we'll see. No, I ain't got it. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't have it. Check All right. It in my well, apron. the U pick seasoning is now going to be. Tell him, Jody. Daniel, how much can we go up? A fifty-dollar gift card. Fifty dollars. I don't know. Sorry, we're going to do a fifty-dollar gift card. So the U-Pick seasoning has now been replaced with a $50 gift card. I love that. We have gift cards now. That's what available I'm talking at about. Available at so make sure you check that out. Yeah. A lot of folks, that's a good last-minute Father's yeah. Day gift. Yeah, just slide it in there in a card. And heck, maybe even go up to $100, $200, $300, $400, $500 gift I card for your dad. If you're going to do that, just go ahead and put 1000 on there. Let them get a, a nice grill. Man, I'm still filling in my pockets for that thing. I think... Uh, I looked. I didn't see it there. I don't know. All right, we're going to spin the wheel of Rectech. you got to do two things to two spin things. the wheel. you got to spin them, it to the right. And you got to spin it hard as hell, aka with the utmost confidence in yourself. Count me down, Chef John. Three, two, one, spin it! All right, ladies and gentlemen, you got to like this video, you got to share this video, and you got to put in the comment section down below hashtag Rectech Summer. Rectech Summer! We're going to start using the hashtag to share all of our beautiful Rectech cooks over the summer, so make sure you fill that up with all of the deliciousness. Tell me it's going to land on it! Tell me it's going to land on Oh, shoot! It's gonna let oh, a B380. Yeah. I was wanting everybody to win a gift card, but I can't not can't, let a B380X yeah. go by. So congratulations. Yes, congratulations to everybody to watching. All you guys. Because you guys now have an opportunity yes. to win the all new Tell them. B380 Deluxe. Um, available at rectech.com. This grill, $7.99, baby. It's my Monday through Friday grill. I told somebody that today uh, when we were in the showroom. Um, it gets up to a thousand degrees. Yes, sir. Again, what do you need a thousand degrees for, Chef John? Uh, I like a thousand degrees pretty much for nothing, but when I'm cooking with the lid up, cooking with the lid up is really the only time right. that I'm gonna get to those really, really high temperatures. Absolutely. And that's just because when it's losing heat as you have the, the top It's able up, to recuperate. But it's over to recuperate. That's right. I like uh, hitting that tuna. Uh, for me, personally, with that sear kit with the flat side down, I love getting that son of a gun hot yeah. as heck, hitting, it, hitting my tuna Ooh. for like 
five seconds That's aside. So good, buddy. That is so good. Oh, little Asian persuasion on oh. there. Maybe a little hoisted sauce. <laughs> Boy, come on now. Cheese and crackers. <laughs> all right. So what I, the way I build my boigas is I start with all of my accoutrement first. That's, that's the best way. Okay. So we're going to put a little bit of lettuce down. To get my burger that's not overcooked. Perfect. And you know what? That hairy sweet sauce was, yes. was talking to me today. Yes, um, it was. I was wanting it on some bacon earlier today, and everybody was like, you want it on bacon? Yeah, I wanted it on bacon. So that's good. this is going to be my burger right here today. Yeah, people don't necessarily know that about you, that you are a bacon connoisseur. Oh, bacon it. and I shrimp love connoisseur. Bacon you love and it. Shrimp. You love it. All right, Chef. All right, so for me. Burger, you're going to have to cut yours because yeah. yours is going to ooze out. Yeah. yeah, for me, we're just going to take one of these bad boys out just to show you guys what you guys are getting. Oh. oh. Okay, we could have cooked a little more. Oh, okay, all right. We could have went a little more. Some of that bottom cheese is done, but this is like a okay, perfect we'll medium rare. Home. Yeah, perfect start medium rare. Perfect medium rare right here, guys. That's okay. Love but that. definitely want to cook your burgers to about medium. That one was a little squishy. Yeah. This one was probably about about done. Okay, we'll let's, see. Her back no, let's see. Let's see let's that see. guy. I think that guy's going to be good. Okay. Sexy. Oh, yeah. That's, that's Again, it that's is okay to throw it for. back on, everybody. That's what we're looking for right there, Jerry. That deliciousness. So that's what we're going for, guys. That one was a little wow. smaller, so we just need a little bit longer on those burgers. Look at me. I'm flaming it up over here. <laughs> but I'm working at Burger King. Sorry. All right, but how I do my Sorry. burgers is Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and you're, do, you're a bacon guy yourself. Put a little bacon down, right? Now, I've already got the cheese in there, right? Okay. So we're going to put that on top. I like to have some kind of pickled vegetable on there. Be a V, wow. a pickle, some uh, pepperoncinis, a jalapeno, something like that. Just to, like, break up a little bit a little of that bit of fat. crunch. Yeah. Your texture eater. Mm-hmm. Love that. We're going to hit it with a vine-ripe tomato. Oh. Right? If it'll cut. I dulled that knife up earlier. Thanks, Don't worry. buddy. I appreciate That's it. That's my fault. All right, we're going to put a little tomato for some acid. Some and then what? Gonna, for some acid. Oh. And then we're going to hit it with some of this Hampton Acres bacon barbecue sauce. Shout out to Hampton Acres. They're right up the road. They are. Thank you guys so much. This stuff's South delicious. Kakalaka. This stuff's delicious. That's it right there, guys. That's a winner, winner chicken dinner. Wow. Got my knife? Yes, sir. Oh, look at that line right there in that bun for me. Mm. Ooh, look at that. Perfectly cooked. Perfectly. Cheese and crackers, everybody. And we'll go ahead and slice the vine up to show the insides of yours. Show the inside that. work. Shout out, everybody. Mm. Guys, so delicious. Definitely try these for your father figure. Yeah. And again, if you wanted to cook just a normal burger, yeah. you can cook just a normal burger, a four to six ounce patty. Yeah. Um, it'll probably take God, like five to ten minutes aside, just yep. depending on how you want your internals done. Yep. Um, sometimes I like to make the diamond marks on the outside, like the steaks. Yes. Um, give it a little bit of a, a pretty presentation. Yep. That way, the folks, if they don't add cheese, they can actually see it like that. Yes, so, sir. Uh, just a little. And chef that's cool. And I like to do that with more of my traditional burgers. I'm the where I'm not stuffing them with anything, or I'm not adding anything to them. Um, right. When it was just a good ground beef. I'll not a whole lot of stuff. We wanted to be able to taste the beef. We yes. want to be able to taste that smoke. Yes. That ultimate blend pellet. Cheese and crackers can be amazing. I love it. All right, man. Well, you and Greg knock it out of the park next week. We will. For the Father's Day episode of Funday Friday. We will. You know, I'm the ultimate father, the barbecue dad. <laughs> That's right. So I hate to miss the Father's Day episode. Just joking. Um, but uh, you're a heck of a stepfather, and Greg's a heck of a, a dad, too. Yeah, well, we appreciate it. Thank yeah. you so much, Jerry. Uh, but uh, you guys can check out these recipes at rectech.com. You can also check out that Father's Day gift guide to get yourself some last-minute Father's Day gifts. Right. Remember, we're rolling out gift cards. We've rolled them out. They're available on the website right now. Get you any increment of gift card for your dad. That makes the excellent last minute gift because you can print it off on your computer. Right. You can do it day of if yep. you forget. Um, but heck, if you want to order something, order it right now. Let's go. You can probably, in most of the U.S., get it by about Father's Day. By about, yeah. You know, if you order it today, they might process. No, I ain't, ain't going to say that. <laughs> I ain't going to say that. Sorry, everybody. You probably, probably need to get that gift card for them. And, <laughs> uh, but. We really appreciate you guys for watching. Yes, we love definitely. you, and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much. Again, right. everybody in the comment section, um, uh, make sure you stay safe out there this weekend. Yeah. Have, a, have a heck of a day. It's going to be hot. Yeah. It's going to be hot across the United That's States. Right. Make sure you wear sunscreen. Yeah. Keep yourself safe. Yeah. Protect your family. That's right. And if you guys ever need us, feel free to reach out to us. I'm Chef John Pinnell on all social media. You can email me at Chef John at Rec Tech. Hey, I'm Jody. 
uh, at rectech.com. You can email me as well, or you can find me at Barbecue Dad Jody on all social media. Make sure you uh, follow Chef Greg Muller right. at Chef Greg Muller uh, or at or Chef Greg at rectech.com if you right. want to email him as well. Uh, but from everybody here at the Rectech Worldwide Headquarters in beautiful Evans, Georgia. That's right. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we'll see you at the Rectech. Dive in, big guy. Let's Here we go. go. Woo!